This is an oil burning drip stove that I made last year. Did some refinements to it. One being a little drip cup out of an old oil filter. There's the needle valve that controls the flow there. <clears throat> I've got a main quarter turn valve here and a big old bucket. Future plans are to put a sight glass on it so I know how much is in there. Um, I ran this last winter and I don't know I think I left a gallon of fluid in it and it somehow turned weird on me I tried firing this thing up the other day and it just wouldn't it wouldn't go so I strained it out through a t-shirt and look what I found some weird weird looking stuff in there anyways I think that might be fat from vegetable oil or something I, I don't know I do know that it didn't want to burn very good. So, back to uh, back to the fire. She's cooking pretty damn good now. Uh, I don't know if you can see me. Can you see inside there? There's a. I don't know if you can tell, but you can kind of see the liquid down in the bottom of that brake drum vaporizing. Oh, by the way, that's that's a brake drum with a old propane canister welded into the bottom. Brake disc. So in order to drop the drum, you just move this over and it locks, it kind of like locks in the drum itself there. But a bunch of holes. It's a three-legged job that way. It's pretty sturdy. Propane tank on top with a through hole welded in for heat exchange action. Four inch exhaust pipe going up and out the side of the Connex. And there's my drips. She's cooking pretty good at that rate. I don't know how cold it is outside. It's cold enough to have ice on the floor or on the ground. Um, Condensation is dripping, so it's going to be wet in here for a bit. Let's go outside and look at the stove pipe. see no smoke coming out of that at all. Whew, hot. Hopefully I burn this tree down. Get rid of that goddamn thing. Anyways, there's my video about my oil stove. Listen to that roar. I don't know if it's conveying through the video, but... She's kind of got a little bit of a chooch to her. If there's any interest, I can uh, break this thing down into its individual pieces, do a more in-depth uh, walkthrough of how it's built, etc. Get the fire pot off of there, the smudge pot, uh, brick drum, show you what's inside on that. Yeah, she's uh, it's nice and comfortable in here. I did have a leak around the edges of this slotted rotor. Okay, so I drilled through the rotor and had a, a piece of pipe and a fitting coming up out of that, and I neglected to remember that these things are vented. So once you drill past this surface, basically it opens 
this surface to the venting of the rotor and I was getting you know pouring fluid into that fitting that was drilled into this piece this rotor and it was hitting a little V notch that I cut in there but it was also seeping out through the vents and creating leaks so I just omitted that and jabbed a stainless steel tubing right down into my V groove to help feed the, feed the oil in. It's pretty warm right here. Uh, as far as dirty goes, they are really dirty on the, uh, you know, when you're cleaning them up. All that oil smudge stuff in the, in the bottom is, is freaking nasty. Use your gloves. I just use a shop vac to clean it all out. Um, start up is pretty simple. Basically, I take the, uh, the brake drum, set it on the floor right here, put a little piece of fabric or what have you, a piece of paper, right there where the, uh, where the oil comes in, down here. And then I'll turn on my valve and get a nice flow going once it charges the tubing and starts dripping onto my paper or piece of cloth or what have you. I'll set it up here and lock the drum onto the brake disc with the little lever deal. Open up this door and shoot my handy dandy propane torch in there and start the fire. Um, it usually only takes a minute or two you know, to get the fire going. Um, the, uh, when it's cold, the drum needs to heat up before it'll actually start vaporizing the fuel that is held within the drum. So I'll sit here and I'll heat the drum up with the torch and get the drum nice and hot. That facilitates the vaporization of the, basically you're boiling off the fluid. You're boiling the oil. And once oil boils, it, you know, vaporizes. That's the hot ticket right there. We can probably see if we can shut this thing down. Probably, oh, yep, yeah, she needs an airflow. That was a noticeable change in uh, how much sound was coming off this thing. Yeah, this is hot. Ugh. It's always good to have a little bit of cement board around keep shit from catching on fire. Let's not store some wood back here. It's a bad place for it. Anyways, that's how I keep my connex warm when I'm out here working for it.